video I was wanting to do a review on the Ryko GR uh, the original not the the GR digital the first one that had the APS-C this isn't the Gen 2 um, because basically I owned the Gen 2 I didn't like it had a lot of issues with it and thought I'd never own one again but I came across a really good deal on this first Gen 1 and I actually I love it it's been a great camera it was really difficult learning how to work with the files and how to get the colors right but once you you've kind of figure out how to tweak the RAWs the DNGs out of the camera it's kind of been blowing my mind with how good the image quality can be at low ISOs. But um, I also just so happened to find a lab in, in Chunghua that will develop film. And I had some old rolls that I had from last year. I don't even remember what I put on them. So I went and I, I gave him those rolls uh, last weekend. A few days later, he sent me the files and I was just blown away. Like it reminded me of why I love film so much. I know all the, the arguments about uh, about there is no film look or digital's better for IQ reasons and whatnot. All I know is when I look at film, it has a very distinct look. It's not just the grain. There's something about the the contrast and the way that it renders colors and the micro contrast and uh, the kind of a 3D effect on things that just it has a very specific look to it. And unlike my digital files, when I get a raw image from a digital camera, I want to tweak it. Like, it looks fine, it's a good photo, but the more I tweak it to my liking, the more I enjoy it. Whereas I was taking these, just the, the straight up film images from, from this camera and other cameras, and it was just the plane, the negative, that had been uh, reversed to, to give you the image. And I didn't want to tweak it. it, it looked perfect. And I thought, well, maybe it can be better. And I tried tweaking it and I actually didn't like it as much. I wanted to go back to how it looked right out of camera, which on its own is kind of a statement of itself, but it made me really excited. So today I've been trying to finish up this roll. I've got this uh, this Agfa 200 in here, Agfa Vista Plus 200, that I've been shooting for nearly a year. I loaded it in last year. And because I didn't know of a lab, I didn't, didn't push to, to finish the roll. Like every few weeks, every few months, I'd take one or two photos and put it away. Well, now it's been like a year and I still haven't finished this roll. So I've been walking around this little area and at the market, different areas, trying to just snap up some photos so I can get it developed. I'm really excited to see what's on there. But I ran into this problem. So I've been looking at my counter here and I was at around 26 photos and everything was fine. And then I got to 28 and suddenly it started kind of grinding. Uh, the the film advance here did not really want to move anymore and then it did move but it was kind of like like jumping and i thought i don't know why that is there's more than 28 um there's more than 28 shots on this roll it should be 36 definitely not 24 so what's going on well i just decided to try to force it like an asshole and keep shooting so i just started shooting random stuff i shot this i shot that I shot something over there i shot some stuff here shot some stuff there shot some stuff here just trying to get photos to see if it would stop at 36 and it didn't now it just keeps grinding past 36. so there's a very good chance that the last the last 
image on here will be multiple exposures with lots of like maybe possibly eight different exposures on the same thing so it's just gonna be blown out um, we'll see I guess but uh, it's time for me to to wind this film back up and then while I'm here I'm also getting some redundancy shots with my Ryko which is interesting because not only is it a film versus digital but it's also a an old Mamiya 5514 I love this lens by the way um, it's that focal length and that type of lens versus the 28 millimeter equivalent that's on here. So I'll kind of see how they render colors differently or or the sharpness. I guess it won't be an exact comparison, but it'll be interesting to see. Right, it's starting to get foggy. Probably because the uh, pressure changes and everything else with that big typhoon coming in. Getting kind of spooky. Alright, so I'm trying to finish up some of this photo editing um, from the Ryko. Uh, I had taken a, a bunch of photos of the, at the... I had taken a bunch of photos at the traditional market the other day. A lot of them actually turned out pretty well. Uh, but then I also was taking photos of the, uh, of the same stuff I was, I was using for film. So like I was also... I was also trying to take similar photos to what I was taking with my film camera. So I would, I took some last shots with my film camera and the Agfa Vista 200, and I was trying to take similar shots with this just so I can kind of get an idea for what I like better as far as color goes, since Agfa is known for being such, you know, so beautiful for its colors. And I'm really happy with how I'm able to get my colors to look with the processing I figured out on these DNG files from the, from the GR. So uh, speaking of that though, today is actually the day that I drive this over to Changhua so I can get it developed. And I am incredibly excited. Need to choose what film I want to buy next. Okay, I ended up getting Vista 400, Ektar 100, T-Max 400, Vista 200, this Precisa 100, and then HP 5, and Kentmere 400. I'm waiting on Ellie and Liam to come out of Family Mart. They're getting some snacks. I might surprise them by taking them to McDonald's over here. We usually don't eat McDonald's because it's fucking McDonald's, but... Might go today. Sounds like it, some french fries might be good actually. Sounds kind of good. Oh, they have a new burger. Taste of America. Two patties with a hash brown. Taste of America. Obviously that's the burger I'm gonna get. What'd you get for lunch? Pikachu. Pikachu for lunch? Yeah. You're gonna eat Pikachu? No! You just said Pikachu for lunch. Then what are you eating for lunch? Uh, french fries with... Ow, I just burned it.
This thing is ridiculous. some bubble tea just so we can get the change for our laundry which is not such a terrible thing I love bubble tea yeah do I eat plum? Uh, thank you I love plum drinks this guy has been in Australia for like two years just casually walks in the back door like, oh, no big deal. Nobody had any idea he was even back in the country. All right, so I got that that film back, the uh, Agfa Vista that I was shooting for over a year. And these are completely unedited. I haven't done anything. I've just brought them into Lightroom so I can get a better look at them, maybe try some adjustments. But this is with no adjustments, straight out of camera, just randomly picking up the camera and shooting for about a year. Here's a fun fucking aspect of living in Taiwan. Uh, we have cockroaches here, like anywhere else. But there are these enormous, crazy fucking cockroaches that you've probably seen in movies, like these giant tropical tro cockroaches. And uh, every once in a while you see one that's wandered into your house somehow. Well, just now I woke up and I'm feeling tired and I'm going over here to make, I'm going over here to make my fucking coffee. Like I'm barely fucking awake, right? As I stumble over here, I uh, I reach over here to grab my coffee filters, and I pull out the box. You know, I'm like, oh, okay, here's this, and I grab a coffee filter, and I put it back, and then as I'm sitting here, like with my arms to my side, like one hand holding the box, the other hand reaching in to grab a coffee filter, suddenly I feel a little tickle on my arm. On my, uh, let's see if I can hold the phone here. I feel a little tickle on my left arm, like on my wrist area. I'm like, what the fuck is that? And I look down, and there's a, a giant cockroach just walking up my arm. So, that woke me the fuck up. It's a beautiful morning. <laughs> 